The 13th South Pacific Games are being held in Samoa, a country world famous for its rugby players. Well, we're going to bring you the medal matches for the sport of touch now, and that's a sport that has its roots in rugby, has been a purely social sport in the past, but is now increasingly mainstream. It's one of the few sports where men and women play together in a mixed competition. Three men and three women on the field at any one time. This is the bronze medal match. It was a close one too. Here's Ken Laban and Eddie T with PNG against Nui. Uh, Papa here. We're driving. Papa he dumps. I have a look down the left hand side. Good aggressive running and a good scoop from acting half. A cut out ball out wide. And a very, very good play. The touch is called. It's not going to be ruled. And that's a very smart take and try with a lot of work being done around the roll ball area by the New Ayan team. And able to keep the ball alive. And in the end, they had too many attackers for not enough defenders. This is a very smart try. Good communication there by um, New Ayan camp. PNG slowly moving back to the line of the defense. The referee says, I'm happy with that. I'll give it a try. New Ayan 4, PNG 1. So Papua New Guinea straight away they get themselves in field position. They've been down here three or four times, just not able to convert. The New Ayan defence on their line has been pretty good. Papua New Guinea with a scoop out from dummy half. Here's a chance, and that's a very good try for Papua New Guinea. They've been frustrated. And a touch of the spectacular at the end. But Frank, the try scorer. Just keeps them in touch now at four to two. Fantastic right there by PNG. Patient, bit of discipline, well paid off at the end. Going forward, it's been a long couple of days in brilliantly fine conditions here at Apia for the men's touch, the women's touch. And we're watching the mixed playoff for bronze. Again, that's a very good dump. Uh, cut out ball out to the left-hand side, and the touch is called. In fact, the forward pass. Brilliant effort there by uh, anywhere in the far side of the field. This is good meters by Papua New Guinea around that roll ball area. 4-2 the score. New way over Papua New Guinea. And they use their woman drive towards the centre of the field. A nice scoop from dummy half, able to keep the ball alive. The catch and pass skills. That's a good run as well from Luli, the number eight. And he committed three or four defenders. He dumps on the six metre line. And a touch football. He cannot throw the ball away. And it's a 20 metre penalty in some competitions around the world. It's a 50 metre penalty if you throw the ball away. But on this occasion, it's a 20 metre. Oh, oh. I think the referees are ruling an illegal substitution. Too many players on the park. The player leaving must depart the field before the replacement comes on. Now, good scoop from dummy half. Papua New Guinea there. Quick, that's an easy try in the end. And uh, Sito gets a second try. And the work that's been done around the acting half area is superb. I think it, when they're doing the substitution, we're falling slowly back to line up their defense. And PNG's just rushing forward to the far side of the field. An inside pass. And a brilliant try there by number 12. Welcome back to Apia Park, where Papua New Guinea and the New Ayan Islands locked up at four all with Papua New Guinea in pretty good field position, just a couple of metres out. And the touch is made. Eddie Tuala Pini with me in commentary for all. Very close match between two evenly matched teams indeed. A little bit of deception and a show and go. We've seen some flair and some tricks with the ball from both teams in it. Yes, fantastic uh, by PNG and uh, also New Way. New Way needs to be a little bit patient. Still have six minutes to play. It's 4 all for PNG and New Way. Marsh dumps the ball just short of the halfway.
Touch and pass, Papua New Guinea, they've looked good in the second half. Occupy a lot of field position and in the new air end of the ground. Trying to set up some mismatches, the ball's dumped two metres out. Long ball out wide. And a very, very good try scored by Papua New Guinea. They were down 4-3, locked up at 4 all while we are in the break. And now they're going to push ahead 5-4, the first time they've led in the game. Great work there by PNG, consistently. And a long ball right at the far end of the field. Easy try there by PNG, 5-4 to PNG. That was the end of the scoring. Papua New Guinea held on for the last six minutes to take bronze. And so to the gold medal match. And this was tight too. Samoa in the blue against the Cook Islands. Good aggressive running from the woman going forward. Picked up 25 metres on the drive. Now some footwork. So. So they go for this is Fanga Sol and a little one two play with Jakopo. So Samoa with a penalty five metres out, six touches up their sleeve ahead by one. Yes! A one on one and a touch not made and a straight foot race attacker on defender. Samoa player. Makes no mistake pushing the score ahead now. Five touchdowns to three. Samoa making a quick attack on the far side of the field while the crooks are still settling there. Sees the gap. Touchdown again for Samoa. So Henry Penn, the try scorer. For Samoa. A lot of tries. Fatigue will be a factor at the end of a long couple of days. The intensity and pace of touch football at this level is taxing on the players, having to play at this sort of intensity for two, three days solid in some tournaments. And the conditions have been beautiful. Another angled run from a Cook Island player. The touch football has been staged here at the National Stadium and up here. This main ground we're commentating from and one of the outer fields were the ones principally being used. If you've just joined us, Papua New Guinea beat the New Air Islands to take the bronze. And you're watching the playoff for the gold medal between the home team Samoa and the Cook Islands as they have another go at the Cook Island defence line. So the Cook Islands, Richmond. So Richmond again dumps and then subs. Strong go forward from the Cook Islands. It's the sort of running they need. Acting half, caught in position, it's a turnover. Good communication there by defence for Samoa, and a turnover for Samoa. Trying to take it out of the danger zone. Bring it on the other side of the field. Just inside the line half, in the centre of the field. Samoa with a 1 2 play now. They go at the line. Samoa working hard. They're just prepared to have a go. Normally, teams will try and anticipate the touch and not overrun the mark. But Samoa, they're backing themselves. They've got players running into space and going hard at the Cook Island defence. This is normally what we see in touch. The players backing away. But Samoa, by comparison, we are seeing just as many of their players, Eddie, go to the line and put some questions to the Cook Island defence. Cook Island's back on the ball again. Still Cook Island trying to do the basic and still be part of this game in the first half. Just inside Samoa half.
pretty good position. Now the victim half can't score, so he's got to find somebody who's available and they get the try. 5-4 at a critical stage of the game too, with less than two minutes to go to half time. The Cook Islands stay in touch by one. Good communication by the Cook Islands. Well paid off. Counted on the last minute of the game. 5-4, there it is. Touchdown for Cook Island. Some more to restart at the half. Some tired players they have been going at this pace for a couple of days and some of the players that played in other divisions in the men's open and women's open have been going all week. Samoa again, they got numbers out on this right hand side. And the defence starting to open up a Rupi Vahe. Nice play by Samoa. Consistently with the attack, penetrating in the middle of the field. Another try there for Samoa. And now, Kapi. Working with Tarangi. So 6 4. Just trial by two. The cook ones are good enough. And this sort of a lead is no lead in touch. It can disappear very quickly. Yes. No, the touch made. Yeah, the touch is made. It's not going to be given. And again, we see this, this work and deceptive stuff around that acting half area from the Cook Islands. They've got some real tricks. Six, five now the score. So it's now six, five. We're just seconds away from the hooter. Well, there's the hooter now for half time here at Apia Park of what has been a very entertaining 15 minutes in the gold medal round and half time here Samoa 6 the Cook Islands 5 so the Cook Islands a lot of their play revolving around the acting half area the two men drives another change of direction big chance touch made Defensive effort from Samoa Cook Island pressing up on defence, forced the error. Now the Cook Islanders will try and find a hole in the Samoan defence. They trail by one. It's been a long two or three days, even longer for those that have played in the men's and women's division that are backing up in the mixed open grade. So the Cook Islands turn to slow things down a little bit, looking for an opportunity. Total mark. Makes the touch. Roll the ball, son. Get on with the game. Waiting for a call from the ref. Was it going to come? So the Cook Islands looking for the quick touch. And he very good play again around that acting half area. That has been the strong point for the Cook Islands. That's going to lock it up at 6 all. And Samoa having real trouble trying to cope with these Cook Islands. Deceptive plays that they have around that acting half area. And there it was again. They knew exactly what they were going to do. And there's a little shape to pass and then falling over. And the referee ruling that downward pressure was made before Prestatini could make the touch. So 6 all. Fantastic lead back by the Cook Islands. Patient, well paid off right at the end. Six hole for two countries. So Samoa straight back with a little bit of footwork. Chance now. And good touch made. Samoa. Good touches to play. Up their sleeve, they go wide for bar eight. Changes direction. Didn't have the player on the outside to pass. So in the end, they concede the easy touch. See that footwork trying to commit two defenders. Now the cook on. Driving the ball. Pick 
penetrate the Samoan half in three plays. That's not bad. Older. Over. It's their sixth Samoa now from 10 metres out from their own line. Try to get some momentum going forward, beat them. It's good running by about eight. Yes, yeah, Samoa got some position. This is the last tackle. Can they do something for us to ten it? Goes right, left. Last tackle. He went right. Tried to switch the ball back left. So the pressure and tension starting to build. You mentioned earlier the can uh, fatigue coming on at a couple of players. I'm starting to see that now. But patience needs to be part of it for both players of these teams as we're counting down six more minutes to the end of the game. And the Cook Island team. Cuppy. Good touch. Gee, very good quality touch between two evenly matched teams. Both deserve their place in the final. Just over six minutes to go and six all. Just the one try scored so far in the second half. About eight. Beat them. Oh, here's a chance. Needs to find somebody to get down with pressure on the ball. Bye. He knows how important that try is. Another great dead player by Samoa. 7 6 4 Samoa, consistently patient, penetrating the attack in the center of the field. Number six there by Samoa. Trying to look for the teammate. Here it is. Up comes number four. Touchdown for Samoa, just what they needed. Start to think, Chris, at 10, they start to think about winning a gold medal at Apia Park at the 13th South Pacific Games in front of their home crowd. Fung Asal. Oh, good bit of skill and deception. Less than 10 seconds to go. Fung Asal. Marissa Tini. Well, they know they've got it one. So the Cook Islands can't do much with it. There it is, the full time hooter. A popular win for the home team, Samoa. They celebrate. Seven touchdowns to six. The Cook Islands thought they'd come back. It's been a long week. The emotion, the sentiment, and the relief at winning a gold medal. Samoa seven, the Cook Islands six. Celebrations for the Samoans, disappointment for the Cook Islands. And we had to wait a long time before we found the result, but a good game between two evenly matched teams, Eddie. It has been tough from the very beginning, Ken, up to the second half. Uh, Cook Islands scoring the first course try in the second half. Thinking that the Cook, uh, Cook Islands going to come back in the second half. But it's just Samoans uh, just keep on doing the basic, penetrating the attack and holding position of the ball. Paid off the right at the last very minute, winning the goal, mixed open. Touch Rugby for 2007, the South Pacific Games.